welcome to SNL Ventures of Food, and we're back again with another food review. And today we're out in Downey, California, and we're at Tacos Estilo Guadalajara, Vatos. Oh man, you know us and tacos, and actually it's been a minute since we've done tacos, right? Yeah. And today we have a feast because these tacos are special, Vatos. Not because they're Estilo Guadalajara, but look at this shit. Ha! <laughs> tacos on top of tacos. Not only that, they're not your regular tacos. They're tacos al vapor. For those of you guys who don't know what al vapor is, you know, they're steamed, vato. So that's what al vapor means. The meats are steamed. They're not cooked. They're not whatever. So I don't know if it's healthy or not, but they're steamed tacos, <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know? They're but healthy, you guys. What'd you get, mom? I got uh, carne, two carne and two lengua. Two carne asada, two lengua. And Sergio got all the crazy stuff. So I got all kinds of got. crazy <laughs> shit because this taco spot has a lot of meats that other taquerias don't yeah. have and this is a 100 taqueria because they don't have no rice they ain't got no beans they got no burritos straight tacos vatos, yeah you know? so if you want burritos and all that stuff don't come here and yeah don't come here vato. complain about but that they don't just have straight it. tacos the foods are you chopping it up in the back but the meats that they offer here carne asada they have lengua they got cabeza they got cachete with his cheeks they got labios which is the the lip mm -hmm. you can't get these meats anywhere you know and they have all this and i got one of each and everything you know i went i went crazy about them because we're never in this area and we're close by today so we're here doing what we gotta do and is eat vatos. and they got all kinds of salsas and you name it huh mm -hmm. my mouth is watery and i'm just talking and talking and let me this get a green one let's taste it one of them looks like a habanero one, but I could be wrong. This one's, this habanero right here is more spicier, than, of course, than the green one. The habanero is spicy. Man, I'm in taco heaven. I'd say put the, you want habanero right here, the one I have open? Sure, or the green one. Let me try the green one first. Huh? Why, why, say it loud, let the people hear, eh? Would you like it back? And uh, man. Oh, just on my face. so here we go tacos estilo Guadalajara in Downey. Mm. So the first one I got is cabeza, which is the cow head, it's tender, full flavor, it's bomb. What you eat for more? Lengua. Lengua, how is it? Really good. Can I have a rabano? So, the salsa that I tried, mm -hmm. I don't taste nothing on it. So and I, we have these, I have them down here, you guys. Maybe I could borrow your habanero. The cucumber and radish. That's what I told you to do at first. But. Well, I wanted to taste the other one because oh, it, it, it. Ya me están regañando. I wanted to taste the. The green one because it reminds me of the guacamole one, but I don't taste nothing. That's not that spicy. That cabron is not that spicy, but look at her, look at her face like, I'm not like, wait. It's actually good. It is spicy. It has a kick. And that, that's what I like, Vato, you know? You like the spiciness? I love the spiciness. Even though my mouth's going to be burning on fire in a little bit. Oh, but Jamaica, guys. They have Jamaica, they have horchata, and what was the other one, mama? Tamarindo. Tamarindo waters here, so. Let's put some habanero on it, you know? Que pique, you know? Fuck it. Tacos in tacos if they're not spicy. Come on. Uh -huh. So, I'm gonna steal some rabanos from the wife over here, you okay, know? Baby. And, what do you think of the tacos? So good. They're good? Mm -hmm. They're bomb, mama. Look at mm -hmm. Look at this shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll put it all up here. Grab some. Um... And I'm going to tell you guys. What? $2 a taco. Can't yes. go wrong. What? How many ta tacos total did you get? You don't know? Anyways, the bill came out to 30 bucks. And I got a shitload. Well, I got, look. I don't know how many I ate already. Those four here, and there's like four over there. I don't even know how many tacos, but I got a shitload of tacos. 
They give us a lot of salsas, happy. Yeah, a lot of salsas. They got good customer service. They gave us a bag with everything to go. Everything was in there. Napkins, the vegetables, the cucumbers, a lot of salsas, you know? Yeah, so. not like some other taquerias where you go and you order like $50 worth of tacos and burritos and they only gave you one salsa. Yeah. That sucked. We were already gone, so I couldn't go back in and get some. It's just bomb. But anyways, it's good. The meats have their flavor. The tortillas are, they give a, a double tortilla. And I didn't even know we were gonna come here. Where, how'd you find this spot, babe? Um, I searched it while I was sitting over there. The wife was at Kaiser. Um, Excuse me. Before this, I was looking. I was looking up for places because I know there's places out here in Downey already. But I hit up the homie Jeffrey Joseph, and they gave me a taqueria, another one, not this one, down the street. But I seen parking wasn't that crazy. It was kind of crazy, so. And it was a little bit more further down, still in Downey. But then I searched this one up that popped up on Google, whatever. It was a mile away. So it was like, and the freeway was right here to go home. So I said, you know what? Let's go try this. Plus, they're tacos al vapor. We always bring regular tacos, but these are, like I said, steam tacos, you know? And I'm glad we came here. The prices, you can't and beat that shit. The tortillas, I'm, gosh, they look homemade, but I don't know. Actually, I believe they are homemade from what I read on, on the... They really do. Watch. I'll show you guys right now. Mm. If I can grab one. These shits are delicious. The tortilla. Look. And this is right off the 105 freeway off of Lakewood. Vato. So you guys can say I can't find it. It's easy. Easy to get to the spot. They got good parking on the side. They got parking in the front. And right now there was a lot of people because what is it lunchtime? No, it's not even lunchtime. People are like getting off of work, you know. Now I'm gonna try the asada. I'm amazed with the different meats that they offer, you know. Because you can go to taqueros anywhere, they don't have cachete, which is cheeks. They don't have labio. Labio is probably one rare that I really don't see nowhere, huh? The lips, lip tacos, like we put your lips in a tortilla, girl. Mm -hmm. We love all that stuff, you guys. And I guess it's all all the meats that you can steam, pretty much, you know. I I'll, like I like it too, but I'm, I'm not crazy about them. But I'll eat it. It's just it just gives you a different flavor. Mmm. You know what? I did not see on there is the um tripas. And that's how she really is. This girl is in my brain. I was gonna say the same thing, but I don't think tripas you can steam them, you know? I think that's why they don't have them. They'll be all. Maybe you can. They'll be all. How can I say it? All wangas. All wangas. All. Yeah. How do you say? Stretchy and, and gummy. That's the word. You know, like a fucking gummy worm. Because I know there's people that they boil the tripas before they throw them on the grill. Because three pots fucking light up the grill like crazy because they got all the grease. People boil them? Yeah. I seen them boil before they get grilled. Is that good? It's not bad, but it's just a pro. I guess, I guess it could the process of being on the grill, you know? But we seen another. How do you like your three pots? Fried. Fried, but. We had them at this other place. I'm not gonna say a name because it's not the review about them. But when we went to Anaheim, you know what I'm talking about. They were on the grill 100%, and they were bomb. I like. They were. They I like tripas, but they, cooked good. They were cooked on the grill. They weren't fried, so yeah. They were grilled, I should say. You know, and they're pff, they were amazing. It was the first time I ever had tripas like that, and. And this lengua is so good, you guys. Is it my money? Like oh, it? Oh yeah. You haven't got to Lengua yet, or are you gonna get to it? I'm right here on all the exotic meats right here. Oh, so I'm what do you have on there? You have Lengua, Cachete, Labios? Yes, yeah? because okay. I already ate the Cabeza ones. Okay, what are you looking for? Some more lemon. I'll get it for you. But it's amazing. This, These tacos are looking, and they, they put them perfectly in a plate for you. How they do it, I don't know what those, they don't, and they're like perfectly stacked. Obviously, we're eating in the car right now, and it's not making a mess, huh? No. It really is not. They, they hook you up like good. 
and then they have indoor seating you can eat there too you know it's not that big and it's not that small they well, have there's not a lot of people are you... everybody's in and out huh? yeah it's like everybody eats their tacos or they get it to go and they're in and out and we're in the parking lot there's a lot of parking so very a lot of parking lot vatos. so a lot of parking lot. but um I could tell you habanero just dousing good salsa mm -hmm. I guess the other one is just more for people that don't like spicy that green one but yeah we love spicy and it's perfect it's not it's not too overpowering like oh my god my mouth's on fire but if you're not expecting a kick let's agarrate homie look at this what one are you eating lengua to be honest I don't even know what it is but I'll tell you right now oh no oh man wow cachete no this is your regular carne asada but it has some flavor oh man oh. this flavor took me back to fucking mexico i don't know it just has like a bomb asada flavor i, I can't explain it it just it took me back i never been to guadalajara but i'm sure that's what they're aiming at you know really really good asada wow I can see myself, well, well kind of stupid what I'm going to say. I can see myself eating a shell of tacos from here, but that's what I'm doing, mato. You know what I mean? It's like, these tacos are, are bomb. You know, it's, it's like, if you're coming home from somewhere, I wouldn't stop here at nighttime because we don't like to be now at night because kind of crazy folks, but you're hungry, you stop and you eat here, bomb as shit. How about it? Yeah. If we would have known about this place, because LAX is down the 105. We're at one end of the 105, LAX on the We could stop here and get tacos on the way home. Remember, we used to come home late from the flights, mm -hmm. hungry. We could stop here, got some tacos. But we'd actually go, where would we go eat? Just like a McDonald's, like an In-N-Out or something? In-N-Out, well, you know? But anyways, when we were ordering, I only wanted uh, two asada and one lengua. And he's like, that's all you're going to get. That's all I could eat. But I got more. You got more? I'm taking these home because I don't want no more. But man, and um, you have cachete on there. My father-in-law is gonna make uh, cachete this weekend. And you guys, he makes. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what you say, babe. What? He makes the best cachete. No, well, I'm not gonna say he don't. He is down making the cachete. I love it, you guys. So he said he's gonna make some on Sunday for me. Mm. So I'm happy about that. I'm gonna say something right now. If these vatos will cook burritos, they will make the best fucking carne asada burrito. That asada is flavorful. They should, and just put carne in it, huh? What tacos do you have left over? Asada and lengua. You so wanna... you, you ate one of No, I'm just asking. Oh. What's your opinion on the asada? Did you like it? Yeah, hold on. Or am I exaggerating? I think it has some good ass flavor in it. Bomb. Mm. That's salty, not salty okay. like over exaggerated salty, but lemony. There salty. you go. It's perfect, you guys. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. Even the, the don't, lengua is good. It don't lack no flavor. It's just like, bam! You want taco? Here's your taco food. And obviously, there's a lot of people, so guys, it's good. Wow. I'm eating another asada one. Delicious. I'm not feeling today. I don't know what's wrong with me. What's wrong, girl? I don't know. You should be feeling it. It's my day off. You know? Mm. What's wrong? Talk to me. I'm right here. Shut up. I don't know what she... She, she wants dessert. They had dessert in there too, and he didn't even buy me one. How do you go back right now? Because we get some, we get some more drink to drink right now. Okay. What they have? Because I know you scoped it out because she's the. They have um, arroz con leche, and they had a flan. <laughs> ay ay ay, no más. I don't know. I don't know, but these are some of the best tacos we've had. Too bad they're kind of far from the pad. Orale, I'm rapping eh? <laughs> Mm. 
Oh my god. No, I'm not gonna buy dessert. The other day we went to um we went to Golden Karate Eat and after that Sergio went to um to donuts. To the Krispy Kreme donuts. We got he got a dozen donuts for his birthday. For free. For free. For free about those. Yeah. So we have those at home. And then for uh Dia de los Muertes at the Mexican um market. They have the bread, the Dia de los Muertos bread. So I Muertos, have the, mi amor. Muertos. Dia de los Muertos at home. So, so we have that at home, and I have just a lot of dessert, you guys. A lot the of wife stuff. digs the, that pan. It's like a big ass fucking pan, has sugar on it, whatever. It's really delicious, though, huh? Yeah. So it's, it's really a, it's really good. With the the Day of the Dead bread, vatos. For those of you that don't understand, Espanolo. Yeah, I'll have to show it to you guys. I want to show you guys how much meat they put in these tacos. For two dollars, you can't buy two dollar tacos nowhere. I was expecting higher prices. Hopefully, they don't hear me right now. Like, hey, let's raise the fucking price. It's a good fucking deal. Two dollars. It's like if you're homeless and you're asking for change, not of disrespect, and you can get some tacos right here. Those bolas on me. Like oh now, now God. when I get tips at work, I'm gonna be like one taco, two tacos, three. Thank you. What do you buy me five tacos right now? You know. This is a good taco spot, but there's another taco spot that's my favorite. But it's only on Saturdays. Mm. And I'd have to go on Saturday to pick him up on my, by myself because he's at work. Bam! Look at this shit. Oh, babe. This is a cachete. The cheek. Bomb. Delicious. You're already done with all your tacos, babe? Hell yeah. I'm on the last taco. How many tacos did you eat total? Five and five? No, that can't be. Is that possible? Was that five and five? They're right there. They're right there. That's the evidence. Oh, how many I got? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stop already. Ten, eleven. I'm not the mother. Ten. He ate ten. So I got ten. Ten I tacos. Have, Cause I have. I got four. Yeah, he ate ten tacos. You guys. Five and five. Ah, damn, mato. So you guys heard it. Ten tacos. And there was no. And no order. It was just random. And wow. They're fucking delicious. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I can eat more fucking tacos, eh? Because, okay, you want these? Because they're delicious. Eat mine, who cares? Fuck it, eh? You only live once, carnal. Pass that shit, eh? You guys wow, are like tacos. you guys are probably saying, fuck that about those fat, eh? And I'm loving it like McDonald's food. You guys, he is. Look at this shit. I don't give a fuck. He, when he was younger, he used to go into school in the cafeteria to work. <laughs> to work. And he would eat all the food. Have him. And they're probably wondering, what do you mean he ate all the food? Not that way. They probably think I fucking went in there. No. Okay. What the wife is bringing up. Okay, thank, you, thank you for bringing up the story. And I don't know the story. I'm going to go get more drink and uh, buy something. In feria? Yes, please. Was that robot a liquor store across the street? Hold on, you guys. Don't leave. Oh. <sighs> Don't leave, guys. Espérate, the SBBT? Espérate, ¿cuánto ocupas? Ten. I'm gonna get a refill on this. Yes, bolas. Get some more tacos, eh? Chingo! Anyways, the wife wanna get some more drinks. She wanna get dessert, whatever she it is. I'm gonna continue with the story. In elementary, I don't know if your guys is elementary. They will ask for helpers to help in the cafeteria, vatos. You know? And. Once in a blue moon, everybody raises their hand. Everybody wants to go work in the cafeteria. Nowadays, I see it as fucking child labor, vatos. They should, I should get a lawsuit and sue the fucking school for making me work, vatos, for free. Because that's what he worked for. <sighs> Let me see what the wife has here. Actually getting full. The tacos are catching up. But Jinga Sumai already told I was going to eat it. And here we go, vatos. Mmm. That's a lengua taco, so... When I would get picked to work in the cafeteria, pretty much, you would have to wash dishes, have a carrito little cart, sell milks for 25 cents, because that's what they were before, or help on the line and give out food, you know? And now that I think about it, they were getting us ready for prison, eh? <laughs> because you're standing in line, bato, Serving food and your homies are coming outside like if you're in prison. Like, what do you want? You want some pork chops food? You know, like, now you think about it, like, 
fucking school smart, eh? They're like, these vatos are going to prison one day. Let's get them ready so they can work the fucking cocina in prison, eh? But anyways, after said and done one, you get out of class. You don't got to be a class because you're over there preparing the lunches with everybody. But at the end of the day, they ask you, mijo, do you want an ice cream or a chocolate milk? I'm not looking like, what the fuck? I did all this fucking work for that. Like, chale, fool, come on. Can I get um an extra meal? And they look at me. Sure, mijo. Depending what the fuck they had that day, they'll give me an extra plate of food, vatos, and I will eat that shit, eh? True story. Call me a fucking fat ass, but hey, I don't care, vato. Some of the school lunches were delicious, and I would go to work at the kitchen for extra food. So. Oh, yeah. No more tacos, okay? No, I was playing, eh? The white came to the rest. Did they get a refill? Well, of course. I'm a paying customer. Why would I not? Why would uh, I? No, I'm just saying if oh, they gave you a new one. Uh. Oh, man. Let me see your, your dessert. Look at the wife. I, it was too good to be true. I know. I say no to something and then I just like... She oh, scoped it out. And I'm surprised she didn't order it when we got there. But show them your flan. Spill it, but yeah, that's my thought. So I'm on twak twaku. <laughs> I'm not being twaku, homie. He is, he's off. My Taco team. number 12, eh? and I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it in my gut already. Like, hey, so wait. Sergio um, has a lot of stuff that for his birthday from Chili's, Lucille's. Um, let me see what else. What else, babe? A lot of free shit because oh, Benny Hanna. Benny Hanna's gives the thirty dollars certificate for your birthday. Yeah, so oh, that's good. We go eat a lot of places, so obviously I sign up everywhere we go. Baby fat. Well, I love you too, girl. On trip, eh? It's funny. So they send all kinds of free shit from fucking McDonald's to hot dog on a stick. Oh yeah, McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Black Bear Diner. Um, I'm telling you, you guys. Fucking Everywhere, everywhere that's in here. Happy birthday, fucking fat ass. You know? But it's all good. I ain't driven. And the Black Bear Diner is a full breakfast, huh, babe? A full breakfast of waffles and eggs. And um, Lucille's is nachos or a dessert. And we're going to get nachos. Well, nachos are good. It's funny, you guys. He woke up. He's like, look at They gave me all kind, all this stuff. <sighs> Where's my trophy, girl? Me chingue 12 tacos. So you guys can see... I don't fuck around when it comes to eating. Eh? I don't eat like a hyena like some of YouTubers out there. Eh? But I can eat vatos. And the fucked up part is we're like 26 miles away from the pad. Eh? <laughs> so this is going to turn into a really adventure right now. A honking. And what the come back? You know, you guys already know this shit. Eh? But the wife is laughing because it's true. It is, you guys. It's true. We'll pull up to the house and... Hey, bolas. He has to wait to the gate because we have an electrical gate, but he has to wait till the gate opens real slow. And he's like, oh, and he's like, park the car, babe. And I'm like, okay. You have the top for the chile, mi amor? Oh, no. Así lo vendamos, chicos de madre. I'm full, vato. Here, here, I'm full. Here. I'm glad you guys tuned in. You got a piece of cilantro on your dedo, mama. These tacos are delicious, though. Tacos de estilo Guadalajara, Downey, California. Bomb ass fucking tacos. I'm sure there's a lot of taquerias out there that are bomb too, but this is another one in the books. That is bomb. And I would know. You, would you come here again? Fuck yeah, for $2 a fucking taco? Wouldn't you? I would. It's bomb. It's really good as shit. We're not just sitting here, you know, they didn't pay us or nada, you know. It's good fucking <laughs> tacos, vato. So, the wife is needing her dessert. Me, I'm gonna get ready to start driving because, you know, the tripa gets floja y vamonos, you know? So. And it's fucking traffic time. Chinga so madre, no. But anyways, this is our taco review. Before we go, hit the like button, comment below, share the channel, subscribe about those. You got anything for them, mama? Yes, we'll be, by the time you see this, we'll probably be in Riverside doing another review. Out over there in Riverside. We are, I didn't even know about it, but the, the, the wife calls the shots and she's a director, you know? We have Just, a clean house over there, you guys. Yesterday I told her she was a, I don't know what I told her, but she got all happy. What did I tell you? You were? I don't know. What was I? 
the director, the, the head, the boss or something. Her head went this big. You're like, hey, calmate. You know? I said, I am. He said, yes. I was that's like, true. Okay. Like, everything's got to go through the fucking head fall right here and shit. No, that's not me, vato. That was my abuelita. You got like, oh, the tacos are coming out. They're about to, vato. So we're going to cortarle right here and end it. So until the next review, you guys have a wonderful day. <laughs>